Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to share with you some tips and tricks for the second MetaFG oral exam who will be appearing in India. So either if you are from BNS or DNS and planning to give your second MetaFG oral exam from India then this video is absolutely for you. But if this video is not relevant for you, like uh, you already cleared your second mate or mates exam or you are from engineering department, then you can share this video and give your important and valuable suggestions in the comment section below so that some of your juniors may get some help. Moving on, before we start the main topic, I want to share short disclaimer about this video that this video is totally based upon my own personal experience, nothing official over here. If you find these tips are helpful for you, you may follow or you just skip this video and watch my other videos. Without any further delay, let's get started. Tip number one. If you want to clear your exam in first attempt, then this one is specially for you. Start preparing your second attempt general exam from the first day of your C career. Once you get on board ship, start uh, familiarizing with all the equipments and jobs on board ship. Because on board ship, uh, you will not get enough time for this uh, theoretical study, so try to learn practical things as much as you can. Look around and question yourself. Question yourself first and uh, if you don't know, then question other people like crew and officer. Because you are new to the ship, so maybe uh, most of the equipment you don't know, so you just ask about any of the equipment like what is this equipment, why it is here, how does it work, what all regulations and rules we have to follow. Because this is your question period. Once you become an officer, then you cannot ask so many questions. From decade to master all of this job, you can learn in during this period. Because decade uh, doesn't have any particular job, so you can help or involve in uh, other job like uh, third officer job, second officer job. You can ask them, you can uh, follow them, so that you can learn so many things. Because once you become officer, on that period uh, you will not get enough time to know uh, your senior's job. Suppose you are second mate, suppose you are third mate, you, because third mate have some particular job for him so also second mate have some particular job for him so it's very difficult to learn a chief officer job on that time so most of the time uh, a decade should learn all these ranks job in during his uh, decade time or in, in during his first sea time like uh, whatever how many ships or whatever you are doing like uh, one ship two ships or three ships whatever you are doing but you try to learn all the ranks job in differently because it, this is the time to learn moving on number two Follow the syllabus and make your own note. If you already finish your C time for the second mate exam, that is uh, for the BNS candidate uh, 12 months and for DNS candidate around 18 months, and also uh, you already completed your ad all the advanced courses, so these tips is for you. Follow the syllabus. I have seen so many candidates, those who don't know that there is a syllabus for the second mate FG oral. It's very funny, whatever. You just uh, find the syllabus from the internet. You can easily get the syllabus from the internet. You can search second mate FG oral syllabus. Then you will get this uh, syllabus and start preparing your oral. Don't follow others note blindly. Use the original publications and uh, original uh, website uh, from where you can get the reference. Only from that reference take the information. Don't take it otherwise and uh, maybe you uh, can copy from others note or you can just follow others note but you never know that uh, how it is uh, okay or not. Sarbear will satisfy with that answer or not. But if you can give reference from the publications like okay sir I already learned this thing from the Marpol. I learned this thing from the Solas chapter 5, chapter 6 uh, so and so or from Marpol or from this publication then uh, obviously server will agree with you though this syllabus does not totally cover up what all things you have to learn uh, so you can research on the previously asked or recently asked questions on that particular MMD from that question papers uh, you can get some information you can get some uh, idea that uh, what all topics you have to cover what all topics you have to prepare for your oral but uh, don't just depend only the question paper you must have to cover up inter syllabus relating to function one again i have already experienced in during my function one oral that surveyor asked me around nine to ten questions from the nine points of the function one syllabus he exactly asked me nine, nine to ten questions and i answered all of them he was not satisfied uh, only one question and rest of them he already satisfied and uh, i got the pass mark then i got this number three and the most important one is the heavy study partner 
This was the most important tips for me actually. As it is a oral exam, you must have to speak in front of surveyor. He will ask only questions and you have to speak. So start preparing your mock test with your friend or study partner. Discuss all the topics and previously asked questions with your friend. Divide topics with your friend and which one you know very well or can explain very well that one you explain to your friend or your study partner and uh, which one he already know very well that one you learn from him you only have done uh, only oil tanker ship or only bulk carrier ship so you have no practical knowledge about container ships so might be your partner uh, from the container ship or from a different type of ship so he can give you some more in practical information practical knowledge uh, to you that uh, which one he already experienced that will be very very helpful for me it was like i have done only oil tanker ship so i had no practical knowledge about the bulk carrier ship or container ship or car carrier so far so that study partner who helped me very well about the container ship because he already done in the container ship his carrier ship and also another friend uh, who already done uh, in the bulk carrier ship so they explained me very well this bulk carrier job uh, how they load how they discharge and they, uh, this uh, container ship all these uh, container terms or container definitions containers all the significant number so he explained me very well that i no need to memorize i only just can remember the conversation that's all finished it's a very useful and important tips don't miss it you can skip all the tips but don't miss it number four Give your 100% effort to each and every function. When you focus on any individual function, give your 100% effort to that individual function only. Even if it is only one function. But remember, don't just prepare 2-3 uh, functions together uh, averagely. Like uh, you are not prepared in uh, each and every function properly. So actually you are cheating on yourself. Because it is not only for your oral exam, it is for your practical uh, job also. So it will help you on board ship also. So you prepare like that. Number 5 don't beg it earn it sometimes it can be happen that you are not prepared and you go for the oral exam or you already faced that first two three questions you cannot answer very properly or you just puzzled and uh, you cannot remember the answer it doesn't mean that you are not prepared you already uh, fulfilled all the criteria to appear in oral exams you already have done your cadet ship on board ship so already 12 months or 18 months whatever but you have already oil experienced for the second mate job so never surrender it gives a very bad impression about yourself because even if you are not prepared Surveyor don't know that you are not prepared. So you act like a smart guy that you know very well. Once you enter the oral room, you show your 100% confidence. But remember one thing, don't give any bullshit answer to our surveyor. You already don't know, but you are giving some wrong answer. Uh, it will not help you because he's a master mariner or he's a captain. So he know very well about this job, about this industry. So don't make him bullshit. If you don't know any answer, just say, I don't remember, sir. Sorry, sir. But don't surrender. That's it. Maybe uh, first two three questions you cannot give proper answer, but uh, next uh, seven to ten questions maybe you can do very well. Maybe it will relate to your practical uh, job. Maybe you are not prepared, but it will relate to your practical job. It already happened with me. So that's why I'm giving this answer to to you that uh, don't beg it, earn it. If I say my practical experience, actually you will not believe. I cleared my function two with only four days preparation. With, within four days i cover up the entire syllabus for the function two only not about function one and three but function two i cover up the syllabus within four days and i cleared the exam and that overall was not so easy there were three surveyor together i uh, asked me questions like uh, from one direction asked me 10 questions then uh, they said he speak to me that uh, turn your chair then I turn, turn my chair to another direction. Then another surveyor asked me around 10 to 12 questions. Then I, again I turn my chair to, towards another surveyor. Then again he asked me around uh, 10 to 12 questions. That day I faced oral exam around uh, more than one hour in during my first attempt. Next one. It's a very tricky tricks for the second mate oral uh, actually. Uh, so many of you maybe will not agree with me, but uh, I already applied this one. That's why I'm giving you these tips. That uh, whenever you are giving answer, suppose he asked you about uh, any question like you know already very well so you give so elaborately that also you can direct him towards uh, any uh, direction that from that point he can ask you the second question i already applied this one suppose i know about marple and solar uh, very well so whenever survey asked me about uh, what do you know about marple i asked survey sir are you talking about uh, marple 73 by 78 actually i know then he will be angry a little bit and he will ask me the second question this happened that he asked me okay what do you know about 73 by 78 then i give him the proper answer and proper elaboration proper history about the marple that was the biggest impression on that day 
after this question repeatedly after two three questions again i applied these tricks that uh, he already asked me some question i again uh, direct him towards another question then uh, after 10 to 12 question he may be uh, understood that i am a uh, little bit manipulating him so that uh, he uh, he's smiling and uh, looking towards me and uh, he already understand that okay i all know about this function so already he give it clearance moving on to the next tips in during your advanced course uh, you may take uh, enough rest uh, but uh, if you are serious enough and if you want to clear your exam very fast uh, then you have to prepare on that time also no need to be super serious from the courses maybe you will get uh, so many questions or so many or so many answer uh, for the oral uh, also one thing happened uh, maybe which city you are uh, conducting this all these advanced courses because uh, advanced courses usually taken by the uh, these surveyors or captains these guys uh, actually so this already happened uh, in during different fmd that same surveyor maybe uh, he already uh, took your uh, like uh, roc arpa course or agdis course so same surveyor will take your um, oral exam so he will definitely ask you about the roc arpa or agdis question which one he already teach you on that class maybe he can remember you if you can give very good impression in during your advanced courses and you will get the same surveyor in your oral exam so definitely it's a lucky day for you so don't just time pass in during your uh, advanced courses uh, do it properly so uh, even uh, not only for your oral exam this one uh, will help you in on board also because all the lsa ffa job this gmds uh, job uh, actually which one uh, very tricky job and also very important job this one uh, will help you in the emergency situation uh, on board ship also next one whenever you give any answer always remind in your mind that always you have to follow rules and regulation solar smart pole r war and all these rules and regulation you always must have to follow on board ship whatever you have done whatever you did in your cadet ship that is different story that is that thing you can keep in your mind as a practical reference but uh, whenever you give answer you have to give answer theoretically what rules you have to follow what regulations you have to follow if you can give reference then it will be very good for you also okay i don't want to make this video so long so i want to sum up with some short tips that whenever you prepare only prepare about your world exam don't think too much never compare yourself with other candidate like uh, what they are doing and uh, what type of questions uh, they are getting uh, what type of preparation they are taking maybe they already get advantage uh, from any good company i don't want to mention the names but uh, you are maybe you have done your cadetship a uh, very small company so so never compare yourself with any such of things it's all about you and your exam so you will find your own way also never think about any negativity about survey or mmd like oh this uh, mmd is very tough uh, these surveyors are bullshit or these surveyors are like this uh, these surveyors are like that they used to ask me bullshit questions never discuss or never think like that it will not help you at least one person so don't just think about like this you just think positively and prepare yourself and go for it last but not the least one thing i can suggest you that whenever you start preparing your uh, second mate oral that time you just have a look into the achievement syllabus and also the master syllabus and what all things uh, have to you have to study in during your chief mate exam or mates exam because if you see that syllabus second mate syllabus is just nothing compared to chief mate syllabus then you will understand that you are just in the river before heading towards the high sea well guys thank you so much for watching and wish you very good luck for your oral exam see you in the next video till then take care bon boys happy sailing